actually lead to fulfill these prophecies, then they're just looked at and evaluated. And what's strange about this guy, first off, the fact that he's the Yanuka and he has this profound level of understanding of the Torah, as well as there's a video from 2021 at the Western Wall. First off, as he's walking up to the Western Wall, he's being completely crowded and surrounded and really crushed by the public trying to get close to him. Pretty strange just seeing the public in awe of such a figure as him for just being a rabbi. And he's so young, and that's part of the thing of the Yanuka that he takes up to the Torah so young. And there's a picture of him here at the Western Wall in the little section where normally it's made for very high up rabbis who are normally very old, who have been within the rabbinical order for a long time and they have this prominence. And then here they let this Rav Shalomo Yehuda guy in. And here they let him into this section of the Western Wall where normally they only allow very prominent rabbis in. And as you can see, all these people around watching him at the Western Wall, praying at the Western Wall. And you can even see, I'll put up on the screen, rabbis coming and kissing his hand, these more prominent rabbis, these older rabbis, showing their respect to him. So just strange seeing such a young figure rise up to the level this man is. And then a more recent, just as of yesterday, October 19th, 2022, one of the most prominent rabbis from New York goes and visits Israel to go and visit the Yanuka for what reason? Giving him his blessing? I mean, the Israeli people are expecting a Messiah. They're expecting this person to come, this person to save them. And this person will take the world by storm. And when they take the, and when the Jewish Messiah comes, he will fulfill everything the Jewish people are looking for. When the Islamic Messiah comes, the El Mahdi, he will fulfill everything the Islamic people are looking for. So it's just very interesting to see when we actually have a Jewish figure, a prominent figure within the Jewish community, rising up, fulfilling this potential messianic expectation that the Jewish people are looking for. To bring it all to a conclusion, we just always need to look back to the biblical text. The Antichrist and the false prophet will, of course, need to fulfill the biblical prophecies of what we know they will do in the end. False signs and wonders will follow them. They will create a peace treaty that will eventually be broken. The Antichrist will push the mark of the beast, which will be the number of his name. <laughs>